this was everyone's first time here. Seven photographers went with UAG to the furthest place we could think of. New Zealand. In the eight days we had to explore the South Island, these are some of the moments we lived. stepped off the plane, and I don't think any of us really knew what was next. We were 440 feet up, suspended by a few cables. From there, the pace never let up. It was a marathon of seven guys trying to see every mile of the South Island. I'm home maybe four or five days a month. I'm traveling pretty much full time. This is my first time in New Zealand and everything's just bigger and more beautiful. If I can't quite get the angle I want, I'll send the drone up. There's a whole new world of perspectives up there that you wouldn't be able to see from the ground. Right, I kept doing things outside and bringing my camera with me I'll show up and just shoot way too many photos and constantly I'm filling up hard drives, but at the end of the day, it just has sort of worked out. The cool thing about traveling is it's the experience around it. Everywhere is different and you're always finding something new. Well, the mentality is just like, it doesn't matter what gear you have, it's going to come through your photo. You're going to succeed if you're just out shooting a lot. We jumped into three defenders and off-roaded through the mountain terrain surrounding Queenstown. Charging through rivers and long winding dirt roads. We all have mountains back home, but none were this steep or this big. I think this is when we realized the sheer magnitude of New Zealand. You can't shoot the same way in harsh light as you can in a moody light. The weather out here changes incredibly quickly. Shooting in both conditions is really fun. It kind of helps you you know, see things differently. This trip, we've gotten up for every single sunrise. It's just cool being able to capture like different types of landscape. I just put my camera on the ground, pointed at the sea lion, and then it just looked at me and then it started running towards me. <laughs> I felt like I was putting myself in a box creatively. Making content or making like photographs that I thought people would like to see on the internet instead of stuff that I actually felt like I needed to make. Coming into this trip, I wanted to let the moments happen in front of me. The most successful artists I know make things for themselves and then other people catch on. sea lion, it was running into frame of my camera, and I was like, oh, that's perfect. You're expecting to see wildlife, and most people want to see and shoot wildlife, but we actually got to, like, really engage the wildlife. Milford Sound was the furthest south this trip would take us. It's part of the fjordlands, which are massive mountains submerged under water that stretch for miles until they reach the Pacific Ocean.
doesn't have to be the perfect light conditions or a perfect scenario in, in general. It's like if you're able to capture a certain scene, no matter where you are, I think you're successful. Beautiful is one of the most insane things I've ever, ever seen. I love being outdoors, so even if I don't find a shot, I'm having the time of my life. I just feel blessed to be out in beautiful places like this and to have these crazy, unique experiences. When we get out of the car and all the guys, even like earlier today, I was the first person who's gone. I don't want to, you know, follow anyone else. I don't want to shoot where they're shooting. I just want to do my own thing. Something that's really uh, been on my mind the past year has been to tell more stories and to live that way. The sky's the limit and you'll never be perfect. And I think that is what drives me is pushing myself to create something that other people aren't comfortable doing. I think we all took ourselves to our furthest limits on this trip. Waking up each morning before sunrise, pushing through to sunset, to see everything we could on the South Island. I can't speak for the other guys, but it's worth it for me. Every minute of sleep loss, every meal skipped, was worth it to experience New Zealand.